What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. Ninja Kamui. Holy shit. What a strong fucking start. I was not expecting this shit to go this hard. I knew it was hot. I knew everybody was getting into this shit. But goddamn, that first episode pulled me the fuck in immediately. Um, we're getting into episode three. Episode two. It's been a couple days since I last watched the first episodes. If I remember correctly, I think we left off with our boy Logan, we'll call him, because I think he mentioned, like, whenever he was asked his name again at some point in that restaurant by the FBI agent, he said Pecking Duck. So I don't know if that's, like, his code name for what he's what he's always been called most of his life, I guess, within the organization, the clan that he's from with these ninjas, or if that's code for something else or, or what. But he said that, but I think we're just calling him Logan for now. That's, I'm, I'm cool with that. It's a lot easier. And uh, he ended up actually meeting with the FBI agent because he had his card and everything. And so he's, they set a location. They even tried to track his location too when he called the FBI agent. But he had literally two cell phones on him and just was on the phone for a very short amount of time. Like he knew how long it would take them and just broke both of them immediately so they couldn't find where he was at. Set up in a location. He goes to talk to him, hopefully to trade information. And the FBI agent, Morris, gets a little too confident and thinks he can just fucking handle his shit. Like, yo, you're, you're, you're under arrest. I got you, motherfucker. I got you. I got you. Like, no, it's not. that's not how it's going to work, obviously. Uh, and so as they're having this conversation, he's trying to arrest him. There's two basically door dashers that come in. It's called Alza Eats. They come to pick up food and they run out the door to go deliver it. So two of those motherfuckers came in like, you know, it was normal, any any other normal day. And then a third one comes in and the FBI agent's like, oh, the food's right there. Hurry up and get out. And there's no food on the table. And it pans to the guy and it's like, oh, fuck, this is another fucking ninja that's trying to fucking come in and kill this guy. Sure enough, they go out in the restaurant and the old man was like, that owns the restaurant was like, yo, don't fucking destroy my place too much. Anything you do mess up, you're gonna have to pay for blah, 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 blah. Dude, your building's gone, buddy. I'm sorry. I don't think you're going to have any business for a while. So <laughs> I don't know if we're ever going to get the reaction from him. I doubt we're ever going to see that character or the shop again, the restaurant, whatever. But that was just hilarious how he left saying that. And the quickest 30 minutes of his life, he's going to come back from that walk and be like, what the fuck happened? Oh, dude, that was funny. But yeah, that's pretty much what we got into last episode was mainly that meeting. And before that, we saw a little bit of other things like um, Logan handling two bitch-ass cops in a bar. And then before that, he was checking a bunch of, I guess I'm assuming, hideouts of this clan. Maybe they've been there before or he just knew of locations to check and see if they were still there. But yeah, he checked a bunch and he didn't find, didn't find anything. No luck. So that's why I guess he ended up getting in touch with Morris to see if they could kind of trade information and figure out both each other what the fuck's going on. And then right at the end of the last episode, Morris was inspecting the blade that it cut his armor, literally cut through the armor. And he was shocked because he was like, dude, this is literally armor. Like, how the fuck sharp is this thing? Like, who made this weapon? And then all of a sudden you hear the, you know, billboard behind him you know, that it has that man speaking from Alza, like Alza. For, from the road to the grave or whatever the fuck the, the, the slogan is and he's kind of looking at it like huh so there might be a connection there them foreshadowing that Alza is involved in this some way where maybe they're supplying tools or the creations weapons for the ninjas uh, and who knows how long they've had a partnership like that you know it definitely seems that Alza is involved in this in some way from that little hint and then the very very end we see them reporting to some higher up, it seems like, in the clan, mentioning that he's still alive. And then he just says, he gone. And then that's where the episode ends. So I'm assuming this episode, we're gonna get more into maybe, hopefully, Logan doing some more investigating himself and maybe having any luck finding the clan or the ninja's hideout, you know, at least the ones that are active and, and, where, he, and where he's at. Or, you know, maybe we'll just see again another ninja try to attack him and then he somehow actually gets some information out of him instead of killing him right away. I don't know, but 
all in all, I'm excited for this because, yeah, this Ninja Con has been on a strong fucking start. And I got three episodes of this to watch. Most recent one was episode five. So I think we're just going to crank this shit out today and fucking have some fun. So without further ado, let's get into the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below. Comment, subscribe for new. Hit the notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get it. Episode three, Ninja Kamui. God damn. What the fuck is going on here? These look like Secret Service motherfuckers. Stop the demons. What the fuck? What was that? That shit did not look human. It looked creepy as fuck. Maybe it is just another regular ninja, but damn. Oh shit, you got a picture of Logan? What a nice piece of ass. Yeah, this guy seems like a problem. Oh man. So that's who's after him next, I guess? Alright, let's go. Come on, get me in this shit. What are we doing? Creepy ass fucking statue, bro. Elegance. Perfect medium rare. Oh my god. This is this guy that we just saw that, like, killed those bunch of Secret Service looking motherfuckers. And also had a picture of Logan. And pick up lines are outdated as hell. Exiles are no longer considered ninjas. <laughs> he keeps on calling him a piece of ass. Truly a ninja among ninjas. Oh wait, so his name's Higan. That's his name. That's why they said it at the end of last episode, or whoever did say it. One that only the old ninjas could use. <laughs> this dude's a midget? I thought he looked a little short, but I just couldn't tell what was below his waist. Organization is corrupt to the core. It's because you fear them. <clears throat> Calling them out on that failure. As they continue to fail, they can't get him. So this is some this is another exile. Oh my god! <laughs> it's already inside you, bruh. You were already stabbed. Clear cut. Holy shit. Ah, so that dude with the long black hair, that's the one they mentioned, the Reaper. Everybody corrupt to their core, man. Hey, he's close to retirement. Oh, 
You should take some time off. He ain't gonna say shit, but yeah, he's on the right track. Okay, finally catching up with Higan. We know his actual name now. Let's go. Good fucking progress there. Mm. Keeps on thinking back. You're never gonna forget this shit, bro. Is this Morris pulling up? Yep. Well, you did they destroyed the whole fucking place. Yep, that's how they're involved. Yeah, it seems that Al it seems Alza has pretty much everybody in their fucking pocket if they're pretty much working with the ninjas and then also the FBI. <laughs> Willing to work together for the, the time being. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Time to toast it up. It's official. We're working together. But the soundtrack in this show is so good. I'm loving it. Oh, wait, it's an energy drink? Is it, is it Emma? <laughs> the fucking duck. そう<笑><笑> <laughs> oh, wait, he's a car guy? Oh, well, he was working on, like, a motorcycle or a car in, like, the first scene that we saw him in with his family. <laughs> what was she about to ask, bro? What the fuck? A giant moving computer. That is dope as fuck. Yo, what? In the development of military weapon telecommunications, entertainment, clean energy, they're involved in everything, really everything. Bro, they're literally having a mono monopoly on basically all the technology in the world because they're replacing all of the software and hardware, like she said. His successor is now doing the exact opposite by act Bro. Mm, so Alza's using the ninjas to be able to fucking 
pressure these other countries into allowing foreign uh, companies come in for, with, tech, with their technology. 2.2 million kilowatts per second? <laughs> like, bro, bro, Mark Zuckerberg looking ass, dude. <laughs> うちのチームの人間だよ。うん。開発中の武器の実践データがどうしても必要だったんでね。身体能力に優れた忍者は試験相手にも打ってつけなんだ。もちろん君の組織とは関係ない。元忍者を選ばせてもらったよ。僕た
because they're the ones that are creating up-to-date stuff that is just like the norm you know what i'm saying like the the new big thing comes out and if it makes your life easier if it's more convenient if it's more intuitive if it's more efficient usually that piece of technology takes over and it seems owls pretty much has a monopoly in on literally every field that they can implement and create technology for and so they got the fbi in their pocket so they're definitely the ones that are really in control uh you know here in america and it seems that they have partnered up with the ninjas to be able to use the ninjas to continue to spread their you know technology wherever they want to for example as emma was telling us in this giant computer car that she has that has just been ultimately fucking destroyed some politician that was i guess you know not wanting to bring over foreign technology and foreign things or foreign technology i think in particular over to his country which i i don't can't remember if they specified or not but i know it was in europe and that's who we saw get murked in the beginning and all those special like secret agents you know like huddled around him in the car and a bunch of the other ones that we first saw at the very very beginning like they were mopped the floor with inside his mansion or house or whatever and that was the small dude that small little uh ninja that took out all of them and also the politician guy and so it seems alza hires the ninjas to be able to do shit like that so they can then get their stuff like get what they want basically you know it doesn't matter what they have to do they're gonna do it so they use the ninjas to kill the people that are getting in their way which was in this case this politician and then boom the fucking next politician that takes over for the country his successor immediately does the exact opposite of what that other politician was doing and so he welcomes in the foreign technology boom case closed that's all they had to do just kill whoever's in your way right so as we can see alza is definitely involved that was confirmed this episode and uh to the extent of pretty much their they can reach anywhere and their technology is definitely very intriguing and groundbreaking i would say from what we've seen so far but it seems from the ego of the main guy you know our little mark zuckerberg of the fucking company it seems like he doesn't really know what he's messing with with the ninjas because for example he was testing out this technology and that's what you know he coped it as uh for attacking that old man's shop and you know the ninjas that were fighting there and that's why that dude showed up to his place unannounced didn't really say much at all just listened to him yap away because you can tell he's a very uh, eccentric you know never shuts the fuck up type of person and he's very passionate about the technology that he creates and Alza in general since I guess he's the head of it and he's just talking away and then the guy's just like don't ever fucking do some shit like that again and he just leaves and he didn't seem too afraid he was just more like confused but that's a fucking warning dude so this this guy that's the head of Alza better watch you know how much how buddy buddy he thinks he is with the ninjas because they could just take him out no questions asked i mean you sure you guys are business partners or whatever but the ninjas are not ones to be fucked with clearly after what we've seen so far from just he gone fighting uh the ninjas that have been trying to assassinate him and the ones that killed his family you know all, all of the they're not they will fuck your shit up so I, I I think I was a, you know the dude the head of the house is getting a little ahead of himself in terms of their relationship so hopefully you know he keeps his ducks in a row but it seems that he's very ambitious and, and will continue to you know do things that he as he sees fit and maybe he'll actually get fucking punished for that from the ninjas but uh all in all an amazing episode and that was one of the other key things that we learned was that he gone is his actual name our boy logan you know the main character uh his actual name is he gone and so that's what we heard at the end of last episode and then it's confirmed in this episode from the conversation that the old dude is having with this small ninja right at the end of that fight basically between the ninja that attacked him morris and emma he finished him off looked into the camera of this small dude was watching him you know, do this fight or try and assassinate he gone as he was enjoying his dinner and he just looks into the camera he's like i'm gonna fucking find your fucking ass and then just crushes that bitch and then we see he opens up a bag he has a whole shit ton of cell phones he has way more than two he has a shit ton and one of them's ringing he answers it he's like oh we can finally talk or whatever he gone calls him by his real name and that like fucking obviously shocks him because probably not many many people know his actual name 
So it's got to be somebody that he either already knows, or this guy's just good. This guy's just good. Whoever's calling him. So, another amazing episode. Can't wait to get in the next. We're going to get into it immediately. Let's wrap this up. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, please like down below. Comment. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.